Okay, so he looks pretty nice. And he's over six inches. Six inches is the minimum here out in Westport. So let's check if he's hard. Yeah, nice. Got a keeper. We've got our homemade crab snare here and I've got eight ounces of weight. And for bait, I usually use a combination of oily fish like mackerel or herring, or in this case, tuna that I've had in the freezer. Um, and the oily fish just kind of disperses into the water to create a good scent pool. And then I use some tasty bites like squid or razor clams that the crabs really seem to like. And that's what kind of keeps them around. The oily fish brings them in and then the tasty bites, the squid and the razor clams keep them there for me to catch. Dungeness crab. Oh my gosh. He might be a keeper. He's close. We'll see. <laughs> well, he's bigger than I thought. <laughs> a little over six and a quarter, almost six and a half, so. <laughs> Hard. Definitely a keeper. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's a baby! <laughs> These little guys keep eating all my bait. Oh. Yeah, you're pretty nice. This one's right smidge over six inches. He's a keeper. Once that comes back up to a boil, I'll leave them in there for about 15 minutes. So we've got the lump and leg meat from one Dungeness crab from today. It's about seven ounces of crab meat. You just need one egg, just crack it in there. Then we're gonna add one to two tablespoons of minced green onion. About one tablespoon of mayonnaise. And then we'll add one quarter teaspoon each of ground mustard, cayenne powder, and Old Bay seasoning. Just mix it all together. Then we're gonna pour the egg mixture into the crab meat and give it a good mix there. And I'm kind of gonna break up the crab meat a little bit as I go. It's not a science though. Don't worry about it. So that looks fine. We're gonna add in one half cup of crushed Ritz crackers now. Any other buttery cracker will work. I like the original Ritz though. None of that low sodium or low fat stuff. I want all the butter and all the salt. Mm 
then you just have to hollow out the mushrooms with a small knife. Some people use a spoon, but that usually just crushes my mushrooms. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but you just hollow it out and then we're going to stuff them with the crab filling. And then I like to top them with some panko breadcrumbs. You could also add a layer of Parmesan cheese in between the crab and the panko if you wanted to. Alrighty, we're just gonna put these in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes.